What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man and today I'm going to be doing a, uh, a video. Um, I'm going to be doing a top 10 video here for uh, figures that I purchased in 2012. Now I was originally going to do a like a uh, uh, top uh, top 10 figures that I picked up throughout 2012 like that included like just every figure that I purchased but then that would have been a little too hard. So instead I just picked up or I'm just doing a video on the top t uh, 10 figures that came out in 2012. Uh, make it a little easier for me. Now, this is my own personal favorite figures. These are these are the figures that I really enjoyed. There was a lot of figures that came out in 2012. We had the Avengers. We had tons of Marvel Legends. You know, the ha Hasbro came out with a lot of stuff. And to be honest with you, I didn't really enjoy Hasbro's uh, approach on a lot of figures this year. And uh, it just I just wasn't feeling it too much. So Hasbro kind of was kind of a disappointment this year. Uh, Mattel came out with some pretty good stuff. DC Direct came out with some pretty good stuff. NECA came hard this year, and uh, I, I picked up uh, my first time picking up certain uh, lines like the um, the Bandai stuff, the uh, Figma. But let's go ahead and get get into it, and then we'll talk about uh, we'll talk some more after this. Now, number ten is a fig figure that recent came recently came out. Uh, number ten on my list is actually the uh, D the DC the Mattel. This is the uh, DC Batman Unlimited um, Batman. This one just recently came out. Now, this is a really nice figure. It's actually just a repaint of the Super, the All Stars uh, Batman. But this is just, in my opinion, this is just a really, really great figure. I, I enjoyed this figure a lot. I loved the paint. I loved the cape. I loved the look on Batman. So this, in my opinion, is number ten on my list for uh, for my top ten figures of the year of 2012. So this is number ten. So that's the uh, Batman Unlimited uh, Batman. So I, I I do recommend this. Um, you know I'm a big Batman fan, so I do highly recommend this figure. Um, coming in at number eight, let me grab the figures over here. Coming in at number eight, some NECA figures. Number eight, I can't even count. Coming in at number nine are some NECA figures too. We got the uh, Rocky Clubber Lang. These are two figures that just came out recently as well. This is the we got the the blue shorts and the black shorts. This this is just great great figures. I loved. The head sculpt, the articulation was there. The likeness to Mr. T is great. Um, these were just—I love these figures so much. Um, the um, this one and, and Apollo have to be my favorite out of the Rocky series that NECA's been doing. But uh, Clever Lang is just a great, great figure all the way around. I I really do enjoy this figure a lot. Um, so this is my number nine figure for my top ten of 2012. That's uh, the NECA uh, Rocky Three Series Three. This is Clever Lang. Coming in at number eight. Now I don't know if a lot of people like this, but I actually really like this. I wasn't going to get any Marvel Legends in here, but they did come out with a couple good things, and that's the uh, Big Time Spider-Man and Future Foundation Spider-Man. This is from the Return of Marvel Legends um, Wave Two. I really do like these body molds. I like the paint um, scheme on both figures. I think I think these figures are great. I know a lot of people didn't like them, but I really liked the Big Time Spider-Man. I like the paint on these, and I really loved the uh, Future Foundation. So this is uh these are really cool figures. Their articulation is pretty cool. Um, I know the left hand looked a little big on the figure, but overall, I thought this figure was 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 pretty damn good. So I really like this figure. So this is my number eight for my top ten figures. We're looking at the uh, Marvel Legends Return of Marvel Legends series two, uh, Big Time Spider Man and Future Foundation Spider Man. You know, one was just a variant or the running change. So that's coming in at number uh, eight. Number seven, also. Some Marvel Legend figures. This is the uh, the um, uh, com the Comic Con exclusive. We got the, the X Force three pack, which is uh, Psylocke, Wolverine, and um, the very very impressive uh, um, Archangel. Very very cool. This is the of course the the X Force uh, version. So really cool. I really liked this um, Archangel figure. I thought it was very well done. I love the wings, the metallic wings, and I love how they're articulated. Very cool. This Archangel was really dope. Um, pretty much the re main reason why I uh, purchased this set. Um, Psylocke was also a pretty, a pretty cool figure. I did, I do like the paint. I like the sword she, she came with. So this is overall a, a, a good, you know, decent, decent figure. Now I'm reviewing. I'm saying all these three as one because they came in a set, so it pretty much counts as one. And uh, of course the Wolverine who came with the claws that are actually you can take out and they're you know they're not the plastic so it's really cool and uh, the the paint scheme the height everything about this Wolverine 
is very, very good. This is a, a very good Wolverine that we have. This is a Wolverine, we've, like one of the best Wolverines we've gotten in a while. And um, Hasbro did a good job on this. So this is my number uh, seven. Am I number seven? Yeah, this is number seven on my list. Now, let's see. Who made it to number six? Ah, here we go. Number six. This is one I just did a review on. This is the NECA Big Red Predator. Now, NECA has been doing so good. Like, they've been doing so much, like, stuff this year. It was it was so hard to pick on, um, on you know, my top ten figures. I wanted to pick so many items by NECA, but Big Red is one that really stood out. This figure just came out. It's just a really, really great figure. Uh, I love this figure a lot. I love the paint. I love the way it looks, the accessories. It comes with a pretty good amount of accessories. He is just an overall awesome figure. Um, this is the Series 7 uh, Big Red uh, Predator by NECA. So that, that came in at number uh, number 6. Now I think I'm counting this right. Let's see. 10, 9, 8, 10, 9, 8. Yeah, this is at number 6. Sorry, guys. I gotta keep track of this. So that was at number six. Number five. Number five. Now I'm counting these all as one because they're pretty much the same. Number five is the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classics. Man, I love these figures. These are so awesome. Uh, they came with some great accessories. They came with a base. They were very, very articulated, and they had that old school um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, look from the cartoon. I'm just showing Leonardo here, but all of them made it to my favorite and you know the top five this is just a great great figure all the way around um i still see him at toys r us here and there but these were just amazing figures this is the uh playmates ninja teenage mutant ninja turtle classics or retro teenage mutant ninja turtles so they this is uh the figures that made it at number five and number four sorry i gotta put that down number four is actually yet another uh um NECA figure this is one I just purchased. This is the um, um, one four scale golem. This is such an amazing figure. This this figure just looks amazing. The detail, the um, the the hair, just the realisticness look of this figure. He looks just like Golem from the from the film. Um, this is just an awesome toy. Again, this is by NECA. So NECA got another uh, figure on the line or on the list. A fantastic figure all the way around. And uh, that's my number four. That's that's uh, NECA, one four scale, Lord of the Rings. This is Golem. Coming in at number three, I put this guy back in the package and I didn't take him out. I did a review on him already. Coming in at number three is the um, Bandai Gridman, or as we know him as Servo, or um, Superhuman Samurai. This is just a beautiful, beautiful figure. The articulation's awesome. He comes with a ton of accessories. This is just an amazing figure. I highly recommend um, if, you, if you guys are Superhuman Samurai fans or uh, uh, Bandai fans, whatever. This is a great figure. So this is my number uh, my number three figure. Now coming in at number two, this is a figure that's very awesome. Coming in at number two is a, D a DC Direct Arkham figure. This is the DC Direct. What's it? Arkham City. Titan Joker. This is a beautiful figure. I was so, like, I was so anxious to get this figure when uh, when he was on pre-order. I was just really excited, and then when he finally came out, just so happy that I finally got my Titan Joker. He was just loaded with detail, great size, just overall, just a beautiful figure. So that's my number two, which is the Titan Do Joker by DC Direct. Now coming in at number one. Now I just did a review on this guy. Let me take him out of this little baggie here. Coming in at number one, it's probably a given to some of you who know me. Coming in at number one is the uh, Figma Link. This is just, this is to me, this is my figure of the year. This Figma Link is just a beautiful figure. Oh, I, I just can't get enough of this figure. I keep on messing around with it, you know, like messing with the art articulation, getting him in certain poses with the sword and everything. This is just a beautiful figure, and it sucks that. Not a lot of people are going to be able to get this, and if they do get this, they're going to have to pay a pretty penny on eBay, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful figure. So this is my number one figure of the year, of 2012. That's the uh, uh, Figma Link. So what I'm going to do is just put some figures here, standing, just to give you guys a little 
something to look at while I talk. So that, that's my top 10 figure, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think of my top 10. What are your guys' top 10? Um, leave them in the comments below. I really would like to know what your figures for uh, 2012 were your top 10 favorites or just figures that you really enjoyed. Um, these are figures that I liked a lot in, in throughout the year. Like I said, um, NECA, to me, NECA was like on their A game this whole entire year. They did. They were just busting out figures left and right, just coming out with so many uh, figures. I did pick up the Django figures. Those were actually pretty nice. I haven't opened them yet. I just, you know, but they're just coming out with, with stuff left and right. Uh, Marvel Legends came out with, with a lot of, uh, of figures. A lot of them, I'm not going to lie, a lot of them were very disappointing. And the prices went up on the, on, on the Legends. It just... A lot of them were really disappointing, um, but I still, you know, I still purchased them. Uh, Mattel came out with some good stuff. You know, we had the DC All Stars, the the uh, unlimited stuff. So they came out with some pretty decent stuff. Uh, DC Direct had another was an, had a strong year as well. I mean, they came out with a lot of the Arkham figures. Uh, we got some uh, the new Fifty Two. Um, you know, it was tough to. I wa I really wanted uh, Superman was going to make the list in the top ten, but there was just so many other figures that I really enjoyed. Um, but yeah, this was this was a this was a good year. You know, I got to get into some new figures like the the Figma here, the Figma Link, the Bandai uh, Superhuman Samurai. I do have the Megazord. I still haven't reviewed it, but I already opened it. That didn't make the top ten list, but it's still a great figure. Um, these um, Japanese figures are just great, really, really great. I can understand why a lot of people are getting into them. But this was a good year for toys. Um, a good year on uh, YouTube. I gained a lot of subscribers. And I want to thank even each and every one of you. I met some cool people on here. You know, I don't really, I don't, I don't chit chat with a lot of the same people on YouTube. I always get different people messaging me here and there. But I just want to thank uh, everybody you know who, who subscribes to me, who watches my videos. I want to thank you guys for supporting and following. You know, since you know, for following me for all you know all the videos I've been doing. You know, I I do this again. I do this a lot for uh, so you guys can take a look at the figures and what I think of them, and you know, show you guys my collection and stuff. But it's been a good year. It's been a good year. It's my second year on YouTube, and you know I'm enjoying every minute of it. I'm gaining uh, subscribers, gaining fans, getting um, to know cool people. So thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for following along. Uh, again, let me know what your your top ten figures are in the bottom. Let me know what figures you enjoyed, what lines you enjoyed, um, as far as like Mattel and all that. Let me know what you guys think of my top ten. So you know, thanks, thanks for everything, guys, and uh, happy holidays. Hope you guys have a happy New Year's and Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Hey, guys. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention really quick here is that I didn't include any of my uh, Hot Toys figures. You know, I have a, I have a few Hot Toys figures that I purchased in 2012. Um, this uh, uh, top 10 was mainly based off of, like, uh, you know, the 5 to, to 7 inch range figures other than, other than the deluxe figures. But the Hot Toys, that's, and they're totally, that's totally a different game. Um, I didn't include those in my uh, top 10, so thanks guys, hope you enjoyed.